Well, joining us right now is food media specialist Charmaine Broughton with almost everyone's all-time favorite, you may have guessed it from the song, Honey. Welcome, Charmaine. Thank you so much for having me. You know, honey is sort of wound into our childhoods, don't mm-hmm. you think? Like honey on toast and... Yeah, there's something just warm and comforting about mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, right? I, I think my mother used to put honey in milk if I wasn't, yeah. if we weren't feeling well or... I, I, I'm i not sure, but it was all woven in. Uh-huh. I, I was a latchkey kid coming home after school with a cup of tea and toast and honey. Yum. With mm-hmm. a lot of butter. No, absolutely. <laughs> I, I totally, like, there's something so homey and comforting. And you mentioned um, putting it in milk and, uh, yeah, honey in water. Like, if you have a wee bit of a sore throat or, um, you know, with you and ladies talking all the time, yeah. uh, you know, if you've got really? a little <laughs> crackle in your throat, nothing uh, soothes a nice, uh, a sore throat like a nice cup of hot water with honey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it it's sweet, but it's not uh, artificially sweet. Right, there's well, something got, wonderful about the sweetness of like honey. a real um, rich, beautiful flavor. And today, I'm here to talk about. Well, I say we let's put away the slow cookers and put them away for at least you know four or five months, and let's celebrate the spring and summer with some delicious recipes using Billy Bee honey. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. what you got for us? Because it certainly looks good. Well, you, it does you look good. You were and uh, well, I, I've been I've been working on this one all day. I've got some bee licious recipes, not uh, delicious, but bee licious. Very good. <laughs> uh, so there's lots of great stuff happening with uh, Billy Bee honey. Uh, first and foremost, everyone's buzzing. Oh gosh, they just keep oh, coming. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> everyone's buzzing about Canada Today, and the great thing with Billy Bee honey is um, it's now sourced from a hundred percent. Uh, Canadian honey and a Canadian beekeeper. So that's amazing for many reasons. Um, first and foremost, I mean, we all want to be uh, eating closer to home. It's almost like a trend now to be eating uh, mm-hmm. uh, local. And uh, yeah, on the little logo, the bee even has the O Canada t-shirt, which I thought Aww, was really super so cute, cute for hey, Canada Day. While I have you here, while yes. we have you here as a food media specialist, mm-hmm. something I've always wanted to figure out is I know that you can you know, use honey instead of sugar, and yes. I would prefer to do so. But how can you figure out the ratio, like what you should be using? Well, you can go to uh, billybee.ca for um, the sugar honey conversion chart. Oh, there is one. Yep, oh. there there absolutely oh. is. So in many baking applications, you can absolutely um, uh, switch them. So for instance, uh, I'll just give you a few examples. So if you again, if you go to billybee.ca uh, uh, under the there is an actual uh, sugar conversion. Uh, little icon that you can click on. So let's say you had all the ingredients for something, but you didn't have any sugar in your recipe called for, but you did have some Billy Bee honey. So uh, one tablespoon of sugar, you would use two teaspoons of honey in in place of that. So that's just one example. Once you get into higher um, ratios, so if your recipe called for half a cup of sugar, right, you'd use a third of a cup of honey. And you'd also want to reduce uh, the, the liquid a little bit. So perhaps if you were making uh, muffins um, and it called for a buttermilk or so on, you'd uh, pull back by about uh, two teaspoons. But again, you can go to the website and there's a chart there. It's very easy to use. And uh, yeah, so it's just a great, I mean, I certainly wouldn't use it in something like a souffle where you actually need sugar. But for basic day-to-day baking applications, honey is a perfect substitute. And Uh, what are we looking at over there? All righty. Well, here we have the blueberry banana oat muffins. So we all have our favorite muffins. Um, and blueberry uh, banana muffins are just, you know, a delicious kind of old school uh, treat. Really easy to make. What I really love about this recipe is it's only two steps. So you're going to take all your wet ingredients and I'll write a blog post so all the listeners and viewers uh, can get all the recipes online. Uh, two steps, your wet ingredients and then your dry ingredients. You simply mix them together. And divide it between your muffin tins. But what's really cute about this, you know, dads, if you're listening, hint, hint, hint. Maybe this is something. Grab the little kids and get into the kitchen. Roll up your sleeves and have some fun. And maybe make mom a batch of muffins for for Mother's Day, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or or maybe some pan-seared and steamed honey orange salmon. Yes. So this... (laughs) 
Oh, mm. so, seriously. Uh, salmon is delicious, as we all know. Most people, even if they don't like fish, love salmon. It's, it's naturally has a beautiful, rich flavor. But, you know, sometimes dill and uh, lemon are just boring, right? Mm. Uh, so the pan-seared honey and uh, orange marinated salmon is is delicious and really uses pantry staple items for its marinades. Um, a little bit of orange juice, some uh, rice vinegar, and uh, some honey, of course. And you're just going to want to marinate it for f- about four hours or overnight. You're going to sear it off and then uh, uh, steam it. And it's absolutely delicious. And if you go to Billy B's uh, Facebook page, there's a beautiful picture of it right on their Facebook page. So that's at Billy B. Uh, I and hope mine will look like that because yeah. I always get disappointed. <laughs> but absolutely, it's just a gorgeous final product. And if you're looking, again, for something just a little bit different than salmon with uh, uh, your lemon and dill, this is a great option. Mm-hmm. So you marinate the whole piece of salmon in it? Right, in, in half of the marinade and then you sear it and you obviously you Yark. discard the uh, marinade that you uh, uh, marinated. that marinated. you marinated in <laughs> and then after you steam it then you want to reduce the rest of the uh, marinade for like a sauce so it will thicken mm, up beautifully yummy. because of the honey mm-hmm. so wonderful absolutely delicious but so again you know at the very beginning of the segment you ladies mentioned how honey uh, you know in in sweet items but in savory dishes as well, like the salmon and the honey spiked slaw. Many reasons why I love this recipe. First and foremost, with the warm weather, we're often invited to cottages or we're planning our own barbecue and we want to make dishes ahead of time, right? What I love about slaws is they hold their dressing really well. So you can make it the night before or a good few hours before where a mixed green salad, everything's going to go soggy, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And if you're really in a crunch, uh, you know, don't be afraid to take advantage of the chopped cabbage, you know, the, the pre wash yeah. or pre-chopped uh, cabbage in your in your produce section. And this one also has fennel in it, which I love fennel because I find fennel really underrated. Like mm. we kind of always walk by it in the grocery store in the produce section, but it's got a licorice flavor and it works really well with the um, honey dressing. And the recipe also calls for oranges, but I'm not sure about you ladies. Pineapples are popping up everywhere from t-shirts to pillows to coasters. Um, so add some chopped uh, add some chopped pineapple in with this slaw, right? right. Um, and the addition of the honey, it uh, it actually is a natural emulsifier. So if you didn't have uh, like a food process or whatever to, to to whisk up your dressing, if you put everything in a mason jar or whatever, mm-hmm. just whisk really, honey acts as a natural em- uh, emulsifier, which makes your dressing thick. Mm-hmm. So what, how do you make that dressing? What's It has some oil. It has honey, obviously. Um, uh, some clubhouse spices. A little bit of salt and pepper, obviously. And it's, yeah, just super simple. And with my dressings, I just like to put them in a mason jar. So I have them ready to go. And I shake, shake, shake. And How mm-hmm. sweet is it, the dressing? I um, mean, how sweet is the salad? It's if not it, terribly sweet. Um, yeah. And what's really nice is there's parsley and the fennel. So that kind of cuts into uh, the sweetness as yes. well. Mm-hmm. So let's let, Let's... Finish off with those bars. They look pretty good. Oh, okay. The apple crumble bars. Now, what I love about this recipe is, again, the May long weekend is coming up, so we're invited places, right? And pies are really popular, but sometimes pies can be fussy, and sometimes we don't always want to make the dough and let it rest and roll, and then our pastry shrinks and all that nonsense. So these are the honey apple crumb bars, and you can go to uh, billyb.ca for this recipe. And it's basically just a shortbread crust, and then you're tossing your apples with some honey, of course, and then um, more crust on top with some almonds. And, you know, there's your traditional spices like cinnamon and, 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 and nutmeg and so on. But just absolutely delicious and a great way to celebrate the May long weekend or, you know, Sunday night dinner. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at what's on that plate and I'm saying, you know, if I made it, it would not look like that. <laughs> oh, I, I think it no, would. No, no. I think you can do this in your sleep. You're just one of those people. <laughs> everything works out. But doesn't this look like it came from a shop, Angela? Yeah. There's yeah. plenty of recipes. If you go to flavor.ca uh, slash Billy dash B. And again, I'll have all the recipes on uh, the blog post, but there's, you know, tons of different recipes Everything from sweet, savory, uh, barbecue items. So, you know, take advantage of it. Grab that honey, the Canadian honey, out of your pantry. And, uh, yeah, let's use it in some different applications this summer. Absolutely. Well, as always, Charmaine, thank you so much. Oh, thank for you so much. Us.